Hello guys, my name is Joseph Kraus. Today I went to an event called the NYC Real Estate Expo. So I want to tell you how it was. Uh, the event I think is every year and it's been going on for a long time but this today, this year 2024 was my first time there as a new real estate agent in Manhattan. So. I didn't know what to expect at all. I went there by myself without any friends or people that I know at the beginning. So that makes it harder because, you know, you don't know where to go, who to talk to, especially when you first walk in. But I went anyways, even just to strengthen my skills because in the future situations, when I'm going to be in a, in a scenario like that, where you walk into a room with a lot of people wearing suits, for example, I didn't know you would, you need to wear a suit. Um, I feel more comfortable. It feels like part of my natural habitat. So in order to be successful, I, I believe you need to go outside of your comfort zone and go into the places where successful people hang out and where business people uh, do networking and where they go for lectures and presentations. So this event uh, was interesting. I'm not sure what type of people were there. A lot of people in this world, I think, might look like a big shot. They might have a nice suit, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they make a lot of money or anything like that, or they are like in, an important industry leader, like the way they walk, their their whole posture and everything. Um, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but they're definitely, when you have a room with hundreds of people like that, there are important people in that room. No question about it. Now, if everybody is like that, I don't know. But let me know what your thoughts are. So I first walked in there and there were a lot of uh, these boots also people in suits, men, women, ladies, um, presenting different products. So I was um, walking around trying to read quickly because I don't read very quickly. So while I'm walking and there's like a lot of foot traffic, I'm trying to see what is the sign of this boot saying? What are they offering? Do they offer uh, loans? Are there uh, a lead generation company? Are there a VR, uh, virtual reality, uh, somehow in the real estate industry company, uh, you know, what exactly is it a credit union? Is it, uh, a content creation, marketing, hundreds of different, uh, vendors or whatever they're called. So I was trying to read quickly cause also. I was doing some research before I go to an event. So you want to make sure that when you go to a, a networking event like that, you don't just go for no reason and talk to people and hope you want to go a little bit with a game plan and know what you want to accomplish, who you want to talk to. So it's obviously always good in business and in life to talk to random people where you're not necessarily from the outset see how this might benefit you but if you talk to them you keep talking to them either you make good friends or they might refer you to somebody else or you might realize that these people were actually the right people for you and your business you just didn't realize it and you can only realize it by engaging with them and talking to them so i interacted with these people um, they were nice. I don't know how, how they portrayed me, if they thought I was a loser or whatever, but um, I made, you know, it, it, it takes sometimes courage. You have to walk up, you have to stand there and start talking to them and ask questions. And, you know, they give you the business card. And so I was doing that, walking around. Um, actually, the first thing I did when I got to, got to the um, New York City Real Estate Expo was go to there was a lot of um i don't know what they're called seminars or uh lectures or conferences or whatever you want to call them with like speakers and so i went to the first one 
uh, I think it was titled The uh, Future of Being a Real Estate Agent and Ryan Sirand and a few other guys were there. So I was watching that and it was pretty interesting. Once it was over, now I'm assuming in the whole crowd there were mainly agents. That's just how my judgment goes. I might have been wrong because I'm not, I didn't also do a lot of research about this event before or after. So I don't know what type of people go to this event. Um, but I was hoping to make a lot of networks. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I'm not sure why. Maybe I, I didn't approach somebody directly and be like, Hey, I see you. You look like a cool dude. What do you do? Nice to meet you. Um, because I don't know, maybe there wasn't really the situation. Um, it didn't feel like the time and place to say that or do that. Um, I, maybe other people are like that because at the end of the day, everybody around you is having conversations and talking to people and, and shaking hands. They might all be just like me where they don't know anybody. They're just more confident, walk up to people or know the game better. I don't know. But to me, it sort of felt like, um, they all kind of already know each other or had somebody else introduce them you know where they didn't completely walk up not only just walk up to a stranger but also walk up where the stranger is not in the position where you can ask sometimes when you walk up to a new person and start talking to them it's just the right place in the right time they're standing there looking at you you're looking at them they're not talking to anybody else and they look like something someone based on you know the the way they dress and the way they they talk and everything that they might be somebody that you might have something in common and, and do business potentially. Um, and then even then, if you walk up, it might just be a nice conversation. There might not be anything, you know, where you can take it further. Um, even, even as far as like, uh, friendship and networking goes. So, um, yes, I, I need to, learn how to do that better maybe um i guess i wasn't sure even completely how i would benefit uh off of talking to people because let's say if i talk to a real estate agent another agent or a broker why would i say that i want to join their their real estate company maybe but i can do that you know any company call them up and apply um yeah, I don't know. Let me know, guys, what you think. Um, I mean, I could have maybe walked into a really nice guy, like a real estate investor, and he starts mentoring me and telling me everything. But I don't know. Uh, I think that's uh, the reason why I go to these events. Oh, and what happened is at, then there was another event uh, like another speech and at the end of it there was questions and Answers where the audience could ask questions usually they only allow one or two people to ask, ask a question But I knew I really wanted to ask a question so I can get as they say publicity Everybody there's like a few hundred people in the room. Everybody's gonna hear me ask the question and potentially Somebody might walk up to me because of that question So I start I stood up. I was like, hey, I have a question and uh, they asked my question, so I said, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I basically said, I'm a new real estate agent. I already closed a few rental deals, and I want to know, uh, I want to know if you have any advice for a new real estate agent in this new market. And first, I think everybody kind of laughed, and it looked like they didn't really have an answer, but then, um, one lady there was it was like a panel of speakers so one gave an answer the other one gave an answer and you know they were all really like looking at me making eye contact and giving direct personal answers and um and they said that i'm very brave and everybody was clapping and then after that uh there was a guy there that came up to me and somebody from the audience and said he he, he has a lead for me he has a deal for me. He's, he knows a guy that's selling a building in Brooklyn. So I'm going to be able to sell a whole building in Brooklyn, guys. Can you believe it? 
So this is what this networking, this going out of your comfort zone, going into the build, going into places where you might not be comfortable. And not just that, I knew by me asking the question out loud and saying my name and everything, even I might not sound professional. I don't know how I, how I'm, how I am perceived. I don't really care. Um, obviously everybody feels nervous, but I knew that's the only way how I might much more increase the potential versus just sitting there and be another, as they say, NPC, non-player character. I need to be the number one. I need to put myself out there. So this guy gave me, so I don't know where this uh, building that's being sold in Brooklyn, where it's going to go. How much money I'm gonna make of it, nobody knows. I mean, I already texted him, we're supposed to get on a phone call, see what happens. I don't have any information, but we're texting. So we'll see where it goes, but you never know if I'll keep you guys updated if I end up closing. That would be pretty crazy. A, bro a building in Brooklyn could be in the multi-million dollars I'm selling and I'll be the, I'll be the, like the agent that sells the, the building. So, I mean, you never know. I don't know what's going to happen from this. But, um, yeah, that's the good news of this. So, if you guys are looking to rent, buy, or sell, reach out. I am a real estate agent in New York City. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Joseph Cross 18 Peace.